Sports Leader 9, Alexandra Vitalik. Today, former Auburn Tiger Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers took on the Saints. We'll pick it up with 6.44 to play in the fourth quarter. Saints down six. And that was Drew Brees with the touchdown to make it 13-10 Saints later in the fourth. Under 30 seconds to play. Cam Newton finds Dominic Hickson for the 14-yard touchdown. Caroline wins 17-13. Here's Newton on the game. This was a, a big team win. It wasn't pretty, uh, but we got the job done. Very exciting game, to say the least. Um, you know, stout, stingy game by the defense. When the defensive guys come to the sideline and they got that look in their eyes after, you know, a, a, a tough trip, you know, battling, you know, extremely hard. And as an offense, we have only one job and one job only, and that's to put up points. Uh, you know, we had a, a, a stall um, on that, uh, but we did score at the end. Panthers clinched the team's first playoff growth since 2008. And today, the Denver Broncos and the Houston Texans. This game looked a lot more appealing back in August, but the two teams have gone in completely opposite directions. The Broncos have already clinched a playoff spot and are trying to secure the number one seed in the AFC, while the Texans have lost 12 straight games and fired their head coach. Could be looking at a number one overall draft pick. Let's check it out. First quarter, the former George Bulldog, Noshawn Marino, takes it 31 yards. That leads to a Denver field goal to make it 3-0. We go to the second quarter, Peyton Manning, Manning, touchdown pass to Demarius Thomas, it's 10-3, Broncos. We'll jump to the fourth quarter, 30-13, Broncos, Peyton Manning looking for Julius Thomas, make connect for 25-yard touchdown pass, 51 touchdowns this season for Peyton Manning, a new NFL record passing Tom Brady. The Broncos win today in hand, the Houstons, their 13 straight loss, 37-13, uh, the final. All through the spring practice and again at SEC Media Days, Gus Malzahn said Auburn's main goal was to get its edge back. To make that happen, the Tigers had a very physical preseason camp. Not even quarterbacks were off limits when it came to contact. The result, Auburn's edge is clearly back. Nick Marshall talks about coming in and having to learn this new offense. It, it was very tough because I'm um, coming in like um, I didn't know anything about the offense and then I just had like a couple of weeks just to get used to the offense, but as I, uh, it probably took me like the second week of practice to get used to the offense, but as I got used to it, um, I just uh, able to play my game. All right, and that's a look at sports. Roslyn.